Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I'm a technology explorer. So again, guys, this is a viewer's choice video where our viewers has asked about the consent, right? Like we have a consent screen in what to IDC flow. So guys, this is not a new thing. This basically you have seen this consent screen in multiple scenarios, right? For example, you are logging in with Google or you're logging with Facebook. So you must have seen that application want to access your username, profile and all those things, right? So that is a consent screen and in your mobiles as well, right? In Android or iOS, whenever you install any application, that application wants access to your contacts, your location. Again, this is a consent screen where for the functioning of the app, it requires that particular inputs okay or the information from the other applications so here in this case of key clock we are using what to oidc authorization code flow where we want the user authorization okay so the client or you can say the client application right which want to get the identity of the user so basically the authorization server here key clock right what key clock is saying that before getting the authorization of the user, user need to approve the consent that user is fine sharing the information. So this is how the consent will come into a picture. Okay. We'll see in this demo. Okay. So we'll start with the demo. Okay. So we are in at key clock, right? This is the master branch realm settings. So step one to have a client. Okay, because this is the client application who want to access the uh, data of the user. Okay, so basically the authorization will be provided by the user for this client. Let's create the application consent demo. Okay, now the client is created. What we need to do? We need to set the access type as confidential. Okay. And you need to give the URL redirect URI. So after the authorization, the flow will get back to this URL. Okay. And save it. Now you must be thinking now, where is the consent thing? Okay. So now we will try the authorization code flow, how it looks like. So, this is the URL which we will be using. You can see this is uh, slash auth. So this is the authorization URL. Okay. In my earlier video, you can see from the well-known open ID configuration, you can get to know various URLs that are associated with the authorization server. For example, registration URL or authorization URL or token URL. So this, you can see this one auth is the slash auth is the authorization url and we are saying response type equal to code that means we will get the code once the user has authorized client id we are saying that consent demo is the client then we will pass us certain attributes like state code challenge method code challenge and redirect url this is the important one this is what we have given in the client creation stage okay and this is the scope okay I will give this uh, URL in the description. You can check the description. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll go to incognito tab. Okay. Okay. So we need to log in. Okay. So now we got the, our code. Okay. So you can see it has redirected back to the localhost 3000 slash CB. Okay. And this is the code. Okay. With using this code, we can generate the token. So video is not about generating the token with authorization code flow. We are just going to show the consent thing. Okay. So what we will do now, you can see that authorization code flow happened but the user has not uh, approved right or user has not given the explicit approval only the user authentication has happened okay 
so user is not aware what what all permission the application want to have access to okay so now we'll see how we can bring the consent okay so this was the so this was the client which we have created now if we go here we have a property called consent required okay so what we'll do we'll make it on now once you are on it then another option came into picture display cons client on consent screen so what does it mean that when the user is logging in right he will see that which client he is giving permission to okay so we'll say yes i want to see now client consent screen text what is the text you want to show okay so for example we are saying dear user you are going to provide consent for the following permissions okay so this is about enabling the consent so again reiterating for enabling the consent you will say consent required as yes that means on then another attitude we can set what is the display message right client consent is screen text all good so here what we will do we'll save this okay now let's again take this url okay okay so now you can see grant access to consent demo so this was the application which we have created right so we are saying that once the user is logging here he is able to identify that i am giving access to consent demo okay so do you grant these access privileges okay dear user you are going to provide consent for the following permissions user profile email address user roles so now if i am not agreeing with this right i don't want to provide access to user profile or email address i can say just say no once you click on no you can see that access is denied right that means i am not allowing the third party or the client to access my uh, profile or username okay so this is how it works now let's close this again so we have seen the name was there but we have not given the logo uri or something so that's why we are not able to see so let's pick one logo url okay so this is the url i am using i'll say yes right and let's check again now let's check again yeah so you can see we got the picture as well so this will identify that yes this is the consent demo client or the consent demo application for example if it is a flipkart application so you will see the flipkart logo if this is amazon you will see the amazon logo similarly you will identify the logo uh, for the application okay now if i am saying yes what will happen you will that means i am authorizing this client now you can see i have got the code okay so this is how consent works in key clock okay now i will show you some other properties which are very important okay so you can see client scopes if i am coming here so these are the default client scopes so by default key clock assign all these uh, client scopes like acr email profile that's why you were able to see those scopes in the authorization code flow what if i want to add more scopes so for that you need to go to client scopes i will say create one and i can say consent demo scope okay right display on screen uh, display on consent screen i have said yes and you can say okay so include in token scope yes 
now you can see we have the consent demo scope okay now we'll go to clients i'll go to consent demo and client scopes now you can see default client scope and optional okay so i will set this okay now i have added in optional and now let's try once again okay so there is no consent screen in why because we have already given the consent for this client okay so let's see how we can check the consent and revoke the consent as well okay let's go to users okay this was the user i was using and there is a tab called consents right go to consent and you can see consent demo and granted client scopes consent demo profile email roles i can revoke it from here okay now let's try it again whether we will be able to see the screen or not yeah so now because i have revoked the consent that means user has revoked explicitly or some admin has revoked the this consent on behalf of user now again we are not able to see the scope which we have added right we can see here if i go to clients and consent demo client scopes i can see consent demo scope is there but why it is not coming here right so i will tell you okay so this optional client scopes are the ones that will come into picture only when the client is requesting okay so what does that mean let's let let me tell you okay now you can see here there is scope is there right you can see scope equal to open id was there okay so if i add this scope consent demo scope right we got it because the client is now requesting that i want access to this scope as well this permission okay so you can click on yes yeah and we got the code okay so let's go to users and see the consent yes now you can see in consents consent demo is the client and you can see consent demo scope okay so now let me tell you why it happened what are optional scopes and what are default scopes okay so we'll go to consent demo again we'll go to client scopes now you can see a uh, optional client scopes are the scopes which appears only when the client is requesting okay and default client scopes are the scopes that are the mandatory scopes that are required by a client okay or we are saying that if you are doing authorization code flow or you want to take user authorization so these are the two three, two scopes or three scopes which are mandatory okay which are the default scopes right so base, for example if you want a email that means you want a profile scope as well okay so that way is default scopes uh, does not need Uh, that client should ask for it will automatically get those scopes okay so for example i removed it and i have added it in default client scopes okay let's go to users and revoke that okay now let's update let remove uh, let us remove from here as well now this is the old url only okay now you can see without requesting by the client that is scope is coming here okay so you can click on yes 
okay so perfect okay so let's summarize this video first of all i will be needing a client so that a client can ask for the scope or permissions from the user via the authorization code flow that's why client come into the picture so we have created the client and to test it we will say it is a access type is confidential now to enable the consent we need to there is a property called consent required we need to switch on then display client on consent screen will switch on and this is the text we are going to show and after that we will just save it okay logo uri we have added just to make sure that when the user is giving the authorization he can identify from the logo that this is the correct client okay and other things also we can add here but this is not part of the video so after doing this we are good to go this is the kind of authorization code flow url okay when you trigger this automatically the flow will go to the key clock login page once the user is authenticated successfully he will be able to see the consent screen where the user need to approve it yes or no if if the user is saying no then access denied message will be given back to the client and if it is saying yes then the authorization code will be provided okay now next thing what we have seen is the client scopes basically we can create a new uh, scope once you do that you have to go to clients and here we have client scopes and then we have talked about the optional client scopes and the default client scopes default client scopes are the scopes that are provided by default to the client irrespective whether he has demanded or not optional client scopes are the scopes which are given only when requested by the client okay so this is the difference between a default client scope and optional client scopes one more thing there is a uh, tab called evaluate as well so you can evaluate your uh, scopes as well okay so basically you can say like a scope parameter then client scope if i am saying add selected then i am saying this user so once you click on evaluate you can see that these are the effective protocol mappers then these are the effective role scope mappings so these are the granted effective not granted roles so every, all the roles are uh, given because this user is a administrator right kcadm is a administrator user then this is the access token which is generated and you can see all the details and all the realm roles realm access resource access everything is there because it's a administrative user right this is the id token and user info with this we will come to the end of this video if you have any confusion clarification you need you can put it in the youtube comments in the comment section if you like the content please share this video with your teams with your colleagues with your friends okay and you can share this video in the social media as well okay for example linkedin you can share this video on linkedin as well and if you like the content please subscribe to the channel thanks a lot bye bye